I get asked all the time, should I invest in wedding wire or the knot, or should I forget all of that and try and do this on my own? I'm gonna answer that question in just a second. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josiah Blizzard. I hate saying that. I don't have an intro. I, I'm not Peter McKinnon here. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't have an intro. I'm not gonna say what's up every time I, I jump in here. So if you feel like I have a catchphrase or you wanna give me a catchphrase, leave it in the comments because I, I sometimes don't know what to say when I open these videos other than I'm Josiah Blizzard. I'm a photographer and on this channel we talk about photography, wedding photography, regular photography, whatever that is, and uh, how to run your business. Um, so. That's it. That's why you're here. That's it. End of video. We'll see you later. No, today I'm talking about should you invest in wedding wire or the knot, uh, one or the other, or should I just forget? Should you just forget about those things and try and do this on your own? I feel like I'm I'm one of the lucky people who have actually had a good track record with wedding wire and with the knot, in the sense that I've actually gotten like decent amount of bookings from from both of them. And I actually have only ever paid into Wedding Wire, even though I know that both companies are owned by the same company, essentially. I've only ever paid Wedding Wire to advertise on. I've never paid The Knot, but I do have a free account on The Knot as well. And I'm gonna say that you guys should at least have a free account, if that's even a thing anymore. You guys should at least have a free account on both Wedding Wire and The Knot. That way people can go and review you. At the very least, have that free account because there are couples who are searching for wedding photographers on Wedding Wire and on The Knot. That might be how they find you. We still, we don't pay them anymore, but we still get inquiries from Wedding Wire and The Knot, from people who found us on both of those sites. That means that it is helpful for us. It is beneficial for us to be on those sites, whether or not we're paying for it. Now, should you shovel out $1,100 a year to, to advertise on Wedding Wire? Well, let's do a little pros and cons here. Because if you paid $1,100 to Wedding Wire and you booked one wedding for at least $1,100, it pays for itself. If you booked one wedding at $2,200, it pays for itself for two full years. If you book a wedding at $4,500, it pays for itself for four full years. And that's only if you book one wedding at that price point. So if my math was wrong, wrong, please let me know in the comments. I have no shame. I'm bad at math. That's why I'm a photographer, not a mathematician. If if you pay the money to Wedding Wire and you book those weddings, then it's worth it. And now we also have to look at it from the standpoint of, you know, we've we we've gotten weddings from Wedding Wire. That wedding has led to uh, three other weddings, and then those three weddings have led to this, uh, you know, branching off of all starting from one person who found us on Wedding Wire and it trickles down into multiple bookings, multiple uh, revenues uh, from different couples, different different people who are paying us money all because we paid Wedding Wire $1,100. Now I know it sounds like I'm talking Wedding Wire up. To be honest, both of those companies suck a lot because they are very business centered on themselves. They couldn't give a crap about you as a photographer, at least from what I understand, from what I've read and heard from other photographers in the industry. I have heard reports of, of photographers essentially being harassed, being called daily from the knot, being called daily from Wedding Wire. And yes, that has happened. I've received calls from my local rep from the knot trying to get me to sign up. I don't care. I am not signing up with you. So take the hint. I'm not returning your call, bro. But is it worth it to advertise on there? I can't say yes or no. For me, it was. We don't do that anymore because we've transitioned our business into being completely word of mouth referrals along with some just regular organic social media advertising. And people find us, we get enough bookings through that that we don't have to pay for Wedding Wire or The Knot. But when you're first starting out and you have some money to spend on on a Wedding Wire or The Knot, on some marketing, then yeah, it might be a good place, but you gotta make sure that you are decking out your Wedding Wire profile. Make sure you get all of your best images up there. Make sure you have all of the info there. That way people can make the best decision possible. Make sure your best photos are up there. Make sure your pricing is listed out. Make sure that like all of the stuff is there. That way people can find you. That is the, That's how we had success um, with Wedding Wire and The Knot. So I can't say whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea because it's gonna depend on your business. So something to think about, but it will work for you or it won't work for you. And even if you just gave it one single year to figure that out, 
all you did was was waste eleven hundred dollars and you, now you know that that's not a path to go down in the future and if you book one wedding it pays for itself essentially so it's not a bad idea but that's a question i've gotten from some people recently is should i advertise on both those sites or one or one or the other and uh i think it would work for some people and it might might not work for others so uh take that at your own risk it's not really a piece of advice but you've heard my story it's worked for us don't quote me if it doesn't work for you. I'm sorry if it doesn't. There's, it's kind of a, a, a numbers game, I guess, in a way. It's a complete roll of the dice, risky thing. Uh, might be some luck in there as well. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I hope this was a little bit helpful for you guys. If you have some things that you want to learn from me, please leave them in the comments. All, all of your questions get my brain rolling about other videos that I can make. So I'll be answering some of your questions in these Quick Tip Tuesdays. And uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.